If your driving is inconsistent and you occasionally feel the club twist at impact, you'll want to watch this video. It explores in depth some of the reasons why this happens. If we miss the sweet spot with the driver, we get some twisting at impact. Here you see that with the heel hit where the club twists closed at impact. Opposing you when the ball strikes the toe of the club, that twists the club head open at impact. When we strike the sweet spot of the club, the club's center of mass effectively lines up with the center of the golf ball. This produces a very direct hit and lots of energy transference into the golf ball. Subsequently, the club doesn't twist at impact and you don't get that vibration, so it feels like a real sweet shot. Those are the shots where you feel like the ball wasn't even in the way. However, whenever we strike off center, as this toe hit shows here, the force that the ball produces on the club head doesn't run through the center of mass of the club. This is represented here by the green line. When this happens, the club head twists around its center of mass, very similar to how a merry-go-round twists when you push on the edges. Now, when the club head twists when it's in contact with the golf ball, the ball and the club head act like gears. So the club head twists one way, and the golf ball has a counter twist to it. This spin can then cause the ball to go offline. Here we see a close-up of the ball and the club head and what happens during that interaction. We see that when the club head twists open here, it effectively rubs against the golf ball, creating a counter twist on the golf ball. In general, all else being equal, when we strike the toe side of the club, you'll get more of a draw spin, or you could also interpret that as less slice spin. Conversely, when you hit the heel of the club, there's often more fade spin on the golf ball or less hook spin. What this means is a swing that would produce a perfectly straight shot may produce a hook or a slice depending on where you strike the face. This gear effect works vertically also. While a centered strike produces little to no gear effect, when we strike low on the face, as in this example, the club head actually twists forward, creating more of a twist back on the golf ball. And this produces a lower launch and an increase in backspin. Now this combination of low launch, high spin rate, that's a recipe for huge distance losses. If you want to find out how to improve your strike quality, I created a solution called the Strike Plan. It takes you through everything you need to launch your driver more optimally for maximal distance, as well as how to improve your face strike with drivers and irons so you get the consistency and distance that you need. We explore in depth the concepts surrounding ground contact, giving you everything you need to hit more greens and lower your scores quickly. Through lessons, skill drills, concepts, techniques, and even taking a look at how the best players in the world move, you can join the thousands of golfers already improving their games with the strike plan. If you want more information, just click the link.